Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Today, I'm going to talk about removing the outer fairing. Fairings on Harley Davidson are two part, the inner part and outer part. I am focusing on the Street Glide. In 1996, they changed how these two pieces went together. If I ever have the opportunity of a pre-1996, I'll show you it's a lot more difficult to separate. But I wanted to show you how to take apart this because there are two mysterious screws. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, to take apart the fairing, first prep your motorcycle. Put blankets, if you've got a cover, put a blanket or any kind of cover on top of the fender, especially late models. Uh, they're making the fenders a lot thinner and thinner and it doesn't take much to dent it and scratch it. So cover your fairing, cover your tank. Now we're not gonna be that close to it, but I always like to cover anything that possibly uh, a nut could go loose or a wrench or something like that. So protect it. And you already noticed, I love covering my passing lamps with Royal Crown. It just protects the fairing when I'm taking it apart. All right, to take apart a fairing, there are seven, yeah, there we go, seven screws. The first three you see, plain and simple. Two short, one long. Then we come on to the other side and we have a screw, come on, there, and one exactly on the other side. It's the two mysterious ones that are hard for you to understand where it's at and hard to find. I'm hoping my camera person can find it. I'm gonna put a light on it and I put green tape. Yeah, there it is, way deep inside. And there's a twin brother on the other side. These take T27 torque bits. So we're, and you noticed I've got uh, cloth down here? Very important because they're short screws. They can pop out and fall into the abyss where you can't find them. <laughs> I've watched a couple of them that way. And if you look, they can fall directly down onto the fender. That's why we cover it. So let me grab some tools and we'll start removing the T27 on these. And then we are also going to loosen up the passing lamps. Why do I do the passing lamps? You really don't have to, but it takes a T40, we're talking torques here, and I just like to loosen them, only in the fact that it gives me more wiggle room with the passing lamps, so they're not really forcing against the fairing. I'm not disassembling, all I'm doing is loosening so they'll move a little bit, so the fairing has a little bit more clearance when going across to coming out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide this onto the other side when I get there. I'm gonna take care of this Torx right in here. So I'm gonna swing around, and get inside here. And I'm gonna reach in with my finger and try to capture the screw as I'm taking it out. All right, that's one down. We've got six more to go. I'm gonna put it right over here because that's where I know I'm gonna to return to. All right, I'm gonna come up here to this one. Same size as the one below. So no difference, same pitch of the thread pitch. I'm gonna go over to the other side and repeat. place this right here down here I'm gonna take my torque t40 and I'm gonna loosen up the passing lamp on this side just en enough to make it a movable wow that one was tight now I've got the upper t27 now, I like using quarter drive because it gives me more clearance around the levers versus a 3 8 drive which is, of course is larger but whatever you have at home we're dealing with torques I'm gonna to put this one right next to this and I'm gonna come over to the fairing and I'm gonna straighten it out to help me work on it. As I said at the beginning of the video, these two are short. 
on either side. And that can be a big advantage when undoing the fairing because the middle one will allow you to maneuver the fairing when you're putting it back on. I'm gonna put these two in my pocket. This one's longer. Now, once you get these out, everything starts getting loose. Now, this is separate. Ah, don't put it on the fender. This is separate from the fairing, so I wanna lift this out. It has three notches for lifting out and in, and this person has the three notches for their accessory. So I'm going to put this on my bench. Now, I'm gonna lift up. and I'm gonna reach inside, and I'm hoping the camera person can see. Now this person has an aftermarket headlight on connection on it, and it's made it a little difficult here. Hmm. Usually on a stock one, we have this plug. And you will undo this, and then you can take your fairing away. Now, there's reasons maybe you want to get in here you heard a, a knocking or a click and you want to examine these braces to see if these braces are in good shape or if they're cracked some people want to get in here to add heated grips some want to add the mirrors on it so there are several reasons you might want to get into the fairing and it looks a little bit daunting with all the wiring but as long as you don't mess with it you're fine and i'll give you one more uh, tech tip and when you're putting together. You'll connect this up, but you'll notice that you have a rubber seal here. What you want to do is you want to grab that seal and kind of pull down because you want it to stay down and against this when you're putting it on versus when you put it on, it sometimes wants to roll up. Now you can see quite plainly, here's the two small torques, the two side ones, and then the three. So if you have a 1996 Street Glide up to 2013, this is a little tech tip to help you find your way inside a fairing and reassembling is just in the opposite direction. Don't use power tools for putting the screws in. They're only quarter 20, so 120 inch pounds is about the most I would put on. I'd rather be around 75 to 95 inch pounds because over time, these inserts, can pull out if you use power tools and then your fairing's gone. Well, they do offer a larger insert to put in, but those are rare to find and not many dealers have them in stock. So take care, take your time, cover everything to protect your motorcycle. And now you can get to what you're doing and then put it all back together again. Hope this was helpful for you. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week. Yeah.